Assalamu alaikum, my name is Miss Im and I teach IB World Religions. Uh, it is offered at a standard level, uh, there is no high level for this subject and I'll explain more about it later on. So before I begin, I'll just read you the IB uh, statement about what this subject is, is about. Yeah, so it's a group three subject. And according to IB World Religion Guide, it explains it is a systematic, analytical, yet empathetic study of a variety of beliefs and practices. So what it means is to put yourself in the adherence of the religion, just to imagine what they feel, how what they believe in, and how they would interact with the world according to their beliefs. So uh, it is being able to put yourself in other people's shoes to understand how they perceive life according to their religious beliefs. So this IB subject is a May subject, so there's no November subject, meaning if you take this course, you will be sitting for your May exam uh, early term two. So you don't have the time that other people, that other students have in other subjects uh, to study till November. So that's important for you to know. And as such, the internal assessment is also to be handed in much earlier and usually it is submitted before the end of Term 1 in Year 12. So the internal assessment is a research essay and I'll talk more about it. The course is divided into two parts. In part one of the course, uh, there, are, there is a table of nine religions and we choose five to study. So I've chosen for our school Buddhism, Taoism, Judaism, Christianity and Islam. And so in studying part one, uh, I also expect all my students to present on a religion of their choice, which is out of these five religions we are working on. So you need to present on a religion of your choice, for example, Zoroastrianism, or New Age religion, or Baha'i, um, or Sikhism, any, any religion, and you have to present a PowerPoint on it. Now, part two of the course is an in-depth study of two religions, and the two religions I've chosen is Buddhism and Islam. So part one of the course is to answer paper one, and part two of the course is to answer paper two. I'm going to now talk about the assessments. There are two assessments, one is external and the other one internal. So assessment is paper one and paper two, and if you come to my class, then I'll explain more the percentages of it. The internal assessment is a research essay, a research, a, a research project which culminates in a research essay of 1,500 to 1,800 words. So what do I expect of you if you attend this uh, subject? Main thing is you have to be good in English because there's a lot of writing involved in this uh, subject. Be good in English, be good in understanding abstract concepts. This subject is quite abstract. Uh, be good at understanding concepts that can appear very strange to you because we're studying other religions as well. So you need to step out of your comfort zone so that you can understand what other adherents believe in in their religions. 